Sergeant Kennedy Ochoa was preparing for a ceremony to mark his promotion when he heard the news. President Trump had tweeted to say the country would no longer accept or allow transgender Americans to serve in the military, citing tremendous medical costs and disruption. This was not the way it was supposed to go. For more than a year, transgender service members had been allowed to serve openly, following an Obama-era policy change last June. Announcing the change, then defense. Secretary Ash Carter set a deadline of 1 July this year for the various branches of the military to begin accepting transgender recruits. In the meantime, many active duty members came out and won the support of their commanders and colleagues. Sergeant Ochoa was one of those. On Wednesday morning he was proudly putting on his uniform, the male regulation dress blues he has been allowed to wear for a year, and preparing to graduate from a training course that puts him on track for a promotion in September. Then he saw the president's tweets. It was heartbreaking, my stomach dropped, he said. In a phone interview, I had to just try and compartmentalize it so I could enjoy today. Sergeant Ochoa is unwavering in his desire to continue serving his country. In five days he is due to re-enlist. Now I don't even know if I can do that, he said. It just seems like chaos, so many unknowns.